Christmas early this year about the severity of the looming pandemic. Trump was responding to a reporter who asked if he misled the public in order to reduce panic. Well, I think uh, if you said in order to reduce panic, perhaps that's so. The fact is, I'm a cheerleader for this country. I love our country. And I don't want people to be frightened. I don't want to create panic. Trump's admission came hours after Washington Post journalist Bob Woodward published bombshell excerpts from his forthcoming book about Trump, titled Rage, along with taped conversations he has repeatedly had with the president. In a February 7th phone call, Trump told Woodward about what he learned about the novel coronavirus from Chinese President Xi Jinping. It goes through air, Bob. That's always tougher than the touch. You know, the touch, you don't have to touch things, right? But the air, you just breathe the air. And that's how it's uh, passed. And so that's a very tricky one. That's a very delicate one. Uh, it's also more deadly than your, you know, your even your strenuous flus. This is more deadly. This is five per... You know, this is 5 percent versus 1 percent and less than 1 percent. President you know, Trump. So this is deadly stuff. President Trump made those comments on February 7th. The White House would not declare a national emergency until March 13th. During the intervening weeks, Trump repeatedly and forcefully denied that coronavirus posed a significant threat to the American people. For instance, on March 4th, Trump dismissed a World Health Organization finding that the global death rate from COVID-19 was 3.4 percent. Trump was speaking on Fox News. Well, I think the 3.4 percent is really a false number. Now, this is just my hunch. And uh, but based on a lot of conversations with a lot of people that do this, because a lot of people will have this and it's very mild. Two weeks after those comments on March 19th, Trump privately admitted in another call with Bob Woodward he'd publicly downplayed the severity of the pandemic. I wanted to always play it down. I still like playing it down. Yes, sir. Because I don't want to create a panic. Columbia University disease modelers report if states had begun social distancing measures just one week earlier in March, 36,000 fewer people would have died. On Wednesday, Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden seized on reports that Trump had deliberately misled the public about the coronavirus. Biden was speaking at an outdoor campaign event in Michigan. He had the information. He knew how dangerous it was. And while this deadly disease ripped through our nation, he failed to do his job on purpose. It was a life and death betrayal of the American people. Meanwhile, Bob Woodward is under fire for holding back his reporting on Trump's deception for months while the pandemic raged across the United States. Esquire magazine politics blogger Charles Pierce tweeted, quote, Bob Woodward knew the truth behind the administration's deadly bungling and worse, and he saved it for his book, which will be released to wild acclaim and huge profits after nearly 200,000 Americans have died, unquote. In further revelations from his book, Bob Woodward Woodward writes, Trump boasted about a highly classified new type of nuclear weapon, and he quotes top infectious disease scientist Dr. Anthony Fauci saying of President Trump, quote, his attention span is like a minus number. His sole person is to get reelected, unquote. This comes as Politico has revealed a Trump appointee within the Department of Health and Human Services has attempted to prevent Dr. Fauci from discussing the risks coronavirus poses to children during recent media interviews. In newly disclosed emails, the official falsely claims there's zero evidence children spread the virus to others. On Wednesday, National Institutes of Health Director Dr. Francis Collins testified on Capitol Hill and responded to concerns the Trump administration would rush approval of vaccine prior to the election before before it's fully tested. And certainly to try to predict whether it happens on a particular week before or after a particular date in early November is well beyond anything that any scientist right now could tell you and be confident that they know what they're saying. So yes, science and science alone will be the way in which this decision is made. Uh, otherwise, I'll have no part of it. 
In education news, the entire student bodies of Winona State University in Minnesota and Bradley University in Illinois have been ordered to quarantine for two weeks after coronavirus spread on their campuses, while the University of Wisconsin-Madison has canceled in-person classes after more than 1,000 people tested positive for COVID-19 just five days into the fall semester. Los Angeles County has canceled Halloween, barring residents from trick-or-treating or gathering at parties or haunted houses. Meanwhile, Yahoo News reports the Trump administration is planning to halt enhanced coronavirus screenings for international travelers arriving at U.S. airports. The global coronavirus death toll has passed 900,000. On Wednesday, India reported nearly 96,000 new cases, a new daily record. Meanwhile, in Indonesia, Jakarta has reinstated a partial lockdown as a new surge in cases is threatening to overwhelm Jakarta's hospitals.